Okay guys, day one, Fogponic system. Uh, first video, first update. I, this system was just put together today. Um, it's just a gray tub from Walmart, uh, brand new. Uh, no, it's not food grade. Uh, again, this is just an experiment. We can argue about plastic leaching, food grade versus non-food grade all day, but that's just really another discussion. Again, this is just an experiment. Um, I've got four strawberry plants, and these were all purchased from just the local Lowe's store. Uh, they came in their regular soil pots. I took them out of those, put them in three-inch net pots um, with the clay pebbles. And both the pebbles and the clay pots were bought off Amazon, extremely cheap. And uh, I'll show you guys the inside in the fogger emitter um, you can see it working down in there it's got some soil in there that's washed out remnants from the brand new strawberry plants but that can all be uh, cleaned out later you can see that you really can't see a ton of fog coming off that um, but I can assure you you can see the sides of the tub and you can see these net pots are, if we can focus, they're soaked. Just with that one emitter that cost me literally, I think it was four or five dollars from the Wish app, it came from China. Uh, it took a couple weeks to get here, but again, it was a couple dollars. A lot of people put two or three or four or five of those emitters in the water and create a whole ton of fog uh, blowing out, but um, I say if my roots are wet and my net pots are wet, um, we're good to go for now. Let's just see what happens. Uh, so this whole system was extremely cheap. It is sitting inside of an entryway to the house. Uh, we're out here in Las Vegas, so putting something like strawberries outside with the harsh sun does not work. Um, I've actually got this thing set up to a timer. I, it'll fog itself for, you know, 30 minutes, shut off for a couple hours. And that's continuously uh, cycled throughout all the daylight hours at nighttime. Uh, I just keep it shut off. It keeps, keeps the uh, emitter cooler. I mean, you know, the wires... You can feel the temperature if they run them for hours on end they start to get hot i mean they're not the most uh durable commercial grade fogger emitters uh, if you will so just trying to keep everything uh, light duty uh, again this is day one i'll do another update here in half a week or a week or if there's any kind of changes to the system or a, a negative result um, to the plants and I have to make a change. I'll keep you guys updated. I just have a, a temperature gauge here so that I can see, because when the sun streams through here, it's not out right now, but when the sun streams through here, it gets incredibly warm. And if you are uh, have, have the sun shining directly on you, I've seen it get up to, to the 90s. Um, so, uh, which is why I continually keep these roots wet uh, throughout the daylight hours because I've just planted regular strawberries out here in the window and they um, It just got too hot. The, the sun got too hot on them. So again, we'll see what happens uh, More updates to come and I've got a couple more fog ponic systems uh, being built. I got my little uh, pump and five gallon bucket system there. I'll do a video of that later. I just planted a, a cucumber seed in there and um, I've got another cucumber seed started underneath of a light in the garage. Um, more videos, more days in the future. So subscribe if you wanna see what's going on in the future. Come back and, and uh, look for updates. See you soon.